Good afternoon to everyone. Magandang hapon sa lahat. Uh, on behalf of Solutions Plus team, I am pleased to welcome you all to the day two of the PASIC City uh, training on electric mobility. So this is also co-organized with PASIC City Transport Office, which is a Solutions Plus consortium partner. Some of them have already joined us uh, in, in today's session. This session, as you would notice, uh, is run as a Zoom meeting. So as opposed to a Zoom webinar, uh, you are also open to uh, uh, present your interventions later on verbally. So we'll start off our session with a basic housekeeping. Uh, first note, uh, first please note that the session is uh, being recorded. Uh, but the recording and the presentations will later on be available for you uh, afterward, after the session has ended. Uh, and we will put that all in the Solutions Plus project website. We have also muted everyone by default, but if you would like to raise your questions or elaborate them verbally during the discussions, Please let the co-host know uh, or, or raise your hand if you are able to, so we can also unmute you. Uh, if you have questions, uh, please submit them via the chat box. You're welcome to use the chat box uh, throughout the session for your comments and your questions. So this is going to be somewhat bilingual in some sessions. I will try to uh, foster a bit more welcoming environment for discussions uh, today. So it's the same as yesterday if you have been able to join us uh, yesterday. My name is Kathleen and I am representing Clean Air Asia and we are also a Solutions Plus project partner. Uh, if you are just joining us today, welcome to our sessions and welcome to the training. We will first provide you an overview of the project and initiatives to help you uh, to help set the context. So we are working with uh, PASIC Transport, uh, PASIC City, uh, specifically the PASIC Transport Office. So PASIC City, uh, many of us are familiar. Uh, it's one of the most proactive cities in terms of uh, embracing and, and testing measures towards sustainable mobility. So it's one of the first cities to create an office th uh, that is dedicated to transport planning so that the, they're actually called the PASIG uh, City Transport Development and Management Office. So their focus is not just on traffic management, but really to lead, the, uh, ensure, lead and ensure the sustainable mobility in the city. So they have also recently created a steering committee on electric mobility. So it, it's the uh, it's probably the first of its kind in the Philippines. So you would see that on the screen, the executive order that has been signed by the mayor. Um, in this process, in this project, uh, you, uh, as I go through the, the project, the pilot testing, the innovations that we're testing, um, we'd like to note that we're not only pilot testing uh, the innovations or the solutions like uh, e-vehicles. We're also uh, learning in this process how to best facilitate uh, the, the the stakeholder engagement, uh, the the development itself of the the interventions, uh, and make an impact also on the institutional structure and the policies. So this is the uh, the e mobility steering committee recently signed, um, and that includes as you would see, uh, different LGU local government unit offices um, that are now tasked to lead the planning. Uh, and the implementation of e-mobility in the city. So you have here the agencies in charge of uh, government fleets, like the Office of the General Services. Um, you also have a city uh, health office, a city environment, uh, city planning, and city engineering. So note that uh, the tiers are in terms of uh, are organized in such a way that you know they're organized according to the level of engagement um, because it's anchored uh, highly on the transport planning, ensuring a public health and uh, uh, an improvement in air quality. Um, the transport is working alongside a city environment and the city health department, um, especially on gathering the data and uh, making uh, and developing the baseline information about the city. So we also have here in the steering committee, the public transport three-wheeler stakeholders uh, like, like the Toro, because in the Philippines, the three-wheelers three are under the, the city. So jeepneys and buses are not. There are also other city level ordinances uh, and directives that are supporting electric mobility, like the, uh, the tricycle upgrading ordinance. Um, that's also envisaged to be updated to accelerate the shift to e-mobility. Several pilots are also ongoing and have been drilled out, such as the, uh, the DOE e-trikes. Uh, a lot of e, e three-wheeler pilots have been um, tested in different cities in the Philippines. 
DOT, the Department of Transportation, uh, together with UNDP, they're also uh, co-implementing a project. And one of the pilot is also in Pasig City. So that covers several aspects uh, and several uh, interventions towards low carbon mobility. We are also working with, uh, with PASIC together with UNEP, which is also a Solutions Plus Consortium partner and is also joining us today. Uh, but on this regard, with support from the International Climate Initiative or, or ikr uh, in testing electric two and three wheelers. So the green vehicles that you see on the screen, that is, uh, those are the units that are with the Philippine Postal Corporation and we are testing that for mail and parcel delivery. So a lot of things are, uh, a lot of learnings that are, uh, uh, are coming out of this, especially because you know Philippine Postal Corporation, they're all also a government-owned and controlled corporation. So um, the process, uh, the facilitation is also quite different from that arena. So this pilot was launched uh, back in November uh, 2019, pre-pandemic. That was expected to commence in, in March 2020, uh, but it has since then been used by the city for a variety of pr purpose. Uh, given the local needs uh, amid the pandemic. So that will continue to be enhanced also and uh, scaled up. We work on uh, vehicle concepts, uh, we work on three areas. So vehicle concept that's focused on uh, energy efficient vehicles, uh, shared logistics use cases are being explored now for Pasig City. Uh, this is not just happening in Pasig City, as you will see later on, we're also testing it in, in other solutions plus partner cities like Hanoi. We're testing uh, electric scooter sharing. Um, so we also look at uh, the second one is um, the operations. So we're looking at the application of uh, innovative, uh, innovative applications and business models. We are also testing the integration as uh, concepts in this pilot. Uh, so for policy and the uh, technologies, the, the learnings, uh, you know, this is a fairly new technology, a fairly new solution. Even if the Philippines has been piloting uh, the e-mobility for like over a decade now, uh, there's still need to uh, foster and facilitate that peer-to-peer -peer exchange. And this is where this map uh, comes in. So uh, PASIC joins uh, a global e-mobility platform and community and that's also being set up by uh, uh, both the EU, European Union funded Solutions Plus project, and also the UNEP and IEA uh, under the Global Environment Facility. Uh, as I mentioned, Solutions Plus is supported by the EU and it brings together almost 50 partners uh, from the city, uh, the network, uh, city networks, and also academia, academic and research institutions, uh, who are all working on electric mobility solutions and are testing different innovations. So for, as I mentioned earlier, we're uh, having a specific look at the shared mobility uh, solutions. Together, there uh, is now support for you know, 50 countries globally on taking up uh, those kinds of solutions. But beyond the global exchange, uh, next slide, uh, we are uh, also highlighting here uh, the depth and the breadth of the cooperation uh, that is needed from various stakeholders within even the Philippines. So while we are pursuing these activities, we are working with a, a lot of stakeholder groups uh, for which our level of engagement is summarized on the screen. Uh, we are working directly with uh, several partners. Um, for example, uh, uh, of course, the Solutions Plus Consortium partners like the City Transport Office, uh, the City's Office of the General Services. They have oversight over the city fleets uh, and other assets. We are also, uh, we also have our local industry partner, Tojo Motors and the La Salle University uh, and Philippine Postal Corporation or Philpos. So they are one of uh, Pasig, city, uh, Pasig City's partners in testing the e-mobility solutions. But we also have uh, stakeholders that we are continuing uh, to consult. First off, we have the, what I mentioned earlier, the 10 member, uh, 10 agency member electric mobility steering committee and that's comprised of uh, uh, various uh, LGU offices and in the developing the pilot we are also consulting uh, many SMEs, many enterprises uh, as well as the current and potential users of EVs. Uh, we also consult the national government agencies to ensure alignment in initiatives. Uh, we also pursue informing uh, relevant stakeholders such as those with interventions 
in Pasig City or generally in the Philippines. So we are pursuing a roundtable discussions and holding such uh, um, dialogues uh, regularly. So not only for information purposes, but we also want to ensure that we capture uh, cooperation uh, opportunities and to reduce uh, and to avoid duplication of efforts. So with that, uh, let us briefly talk about our session this week. So yesterday we had the chance to have a, a live demo uh, about the EV parts and care. So that was live from Santa Rosa Laguna and we had a more hybrid approach with some of the, the participants joining us from uh, Pasig City on site. Uh, there were about 20 or so people uh, joining us from there. Um, and we also had a Zoom session. Tomorrow, uh, we will hear about uh, charging. And on Friday, we will look at various applications of uh, electric mobility. Specifically, we'll look at public e three wheelers or, or e trikes, uh, shared uh, mobility devices uh, or private use uh, of smaller EVs, and also enterprises. Uh, for today, and next slide, uh, that would be about uh, more on the policy tools to balance access and safety. So first we'll uh, have, uh, we'll hear from Alvin from Wuppertal Institute about the uh, immobility policy tools for local authorities. Then we'll have Bert from UNEP who will go through uh, briefly the ASEAN EV standards and guidelines. They will also look at the case of Malaysia. What are the regulations? Uh, what were the considerations? Uh, what was the process when the guidelines were being crafted there? So uh, Dr. Horizon is joining us uh, from Malaysia today. Uh, then we'll also hear about the, the India case of India. Uh, what were the measures that they used there to promote e-mobility? So we'll look at the, uh, the alignment of the national and the state uh, interventions. Uh, then we'll uh, look at the Philippine case. So in the absence of uh, land transport office, unfortunately, they're not able to join us today, uh, but I am happy to go through the Philippine regulations for our session discussion today. So with that, um, I think we can first go to uh, a one survey uh, to talk about, uh, to understand who is in the room. Give us an idea of the type of a, uh, organization you are representing. Nice. So for those just joining us, um, and just give us an idea if uh, you can go to slido.com and type in the event code 815058. And just give us an insight, like, uh, are you from the national government? Are you from an international uh, uh, international organization uh, or local government? Are you representing a research, uh, an academic institution? Or are you coming from a startup or private sector, um, SMEs, perhaps operating a, an EV fleet also? Most can also give us that. So we have a lot of options. Uh, we have a lot of people joining us from the different LGUs. Good. So um, it's good to know that there are a lot of uh, LGUs. So I, I saw in some of the Zoom uh, names uh, we have from different uh, local government units. Um, so while you're waiting for the others to answer the slide though, you could also uh, rename your Zoom if you would like to put your, um, your city in your Zoom name. Okay, so we can, we can stop with the slide first and I'll introduce the Alvin first for the first presentation. 